G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and another redstone made simple. Today I want to talk a little bit about full ladder. This design here is from the Minecraft wiki, the redstone wiki, and I want to explain it a little bit more, but before I get into that, let me give a brief background on binary, as that's the main system that you need to understand to be able to understand how this works. So just really briefly, uh, this is here. This here is a three-bit system. You can tell by because there's three uh, long. The binary bits are three long. Uh, put simply, um, and the way that you add up, you, the way you know what value uh, of binary is there, you, just, you can tell from the top row. So you add up what's there. So if it's zero, then you don't add it. So one, there's no other ones there. So it's one. So one there. So it's a two. There's a 1 there and a 1 there. 1 plus 2 is 3. There's a 1 there and no other, so it's 4. A 1 there, a 0 and 1, so it's, so it's 4 and 1 is 5. 2 and 4 is 6. 1 and 2 and 4 is 7. So, and you have the values obviously on the side there. Now you might be able to see an incrementation uh, pattern here, where it's all zeros, and then a 1, the 1 increments, and then there's a 0, then you have 1, 1. The one moves over there because there's no other place for ones to go, so it goes there, and those become zeros, and it starts again. Um, that's how binary counts upwards. So effectively, what you can do with binary is you have basically, well, eight addresses, I guess. Um, eight because you can count the the zero state as an address or a a value as well. If you have it all off, then it's doing something. If you have it uh, on only on one. Uh, etc. So you can effectively run this binary sequence, whatever you add, whatever, into a decoder to put to some form of use. But what this system it does is it adds up whatever you put together. Say for example, if we had a 2 uh, and a, say a 5, if we added the 2 together we would get 7. So let's do that. So the 2 value is 0, 1, 0. So the top row here, we're using a 4-bit system here, so I should be able to run it, 2, 1, sorry, sorry, 0, 1, 0, so it's a 1, 0, okay. Because of, um, you can assume that this row here is all zeros, by the way, the last row, and if there was any in that last row, it would be 8, the next one would be 16. As you can see, it doubles every time, so 1 becomes 2, becomes 4, becomes 8, becomes 16, so each row doubles. So the next value was uh, 5, we said, so 1, 0, 1. Uh, 1, 0, 1. Now the output is 0, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1, which is 7. Now, it can also work if they're on the same thing there, so that would be, what, four and, uh, 2 and 1 is 3, but, uh, with uh, two. 2. So it should be 5. 1, 0, 1, which is 5. So it takes whatever inputs you have, you've got two rows here, and it adds them together. Now the basics of how this works is this thing here. Um, I'm not exactly sure who's designed this, is, as it was in the wiki, and it didn't, well it wasn't obvious <laughs> as to who made it, but I'm going to try and explain how it works, and I'll leave a link to the wiki article and you can look into the author and things like that if you are curious. <clears throat> I've color coded the inputs with two different colors uh, for ease of yeah. So red is the bottom input, blue is the, is the top. Now I've also added here. This is our carry input. I'll explain that in a minute. And this is another carry input here. The carry inputs are very essential with this system because they effectively take. Uh, the values from the previous one, if they overflow, like for example, with that one moving to there, that's a carry. That now is a zero, and the the one is carried. So if you had a um one and one, so one and one is a carry. So yeah, there's one and one, and it carries. Things like that. And this is in case there was a carry from the previous one. So as you can see, it's already like that. Um, see what I mean? So it's an, like an extra value. You're adding three together. So as you might recall from um, your binary, from what I just explained, the first row is one, which is this one here. And this row is two. 
So with one, any of these off, it doesn't matter which lever, it could be the carry lever, it could be that one or that one. Um, as you notice, we have two as our value because there's two levers on. There's three levers on, or they're all on. Turn that one off. It's back to two. And we're back to one. So that's the basics of how it works. Now I want to talk a little bit about how to make it. Alright, now let's build this bad boy. <laughs> so, I'll try and be really quick, but at the same time, one ex um, yeah, I'll try and be really basic about it. Try and keep it basic. So make a nice little shape like this. I'll basically, I'll build with the blocks, then I'll place the torches, then the redstone bits. So, yeah, build that. Then place a torch on here, on here, and on here. So just the three torches. And some redstone here, here, and here. So, yeah. Next layer. Layer number two. Place a piece of redstone on, sorry, a block on there. On there, there, and there. One here, and one here, and then one on there. Torches go here, on here, and on here, as well as there and there. Redstone there, there, and there with one repeater. Now this repeater is actually shown the other way on the uh, Minecraft wiki, so be aware of that. Now for the next layer, we'll make it blue just because uh, it's an input and that's the way we've color coded that one. So why not <laughs> place a block <laughs> over the repeater like so um, with another block over here, one on here one on there, and one on there. Torches on here, and here, and that's it for torches. Piece of redstone here, and uh, another one here, and that's it. Next layer, we build up the uh, the input. Place uh, yeah, two blocks like so. Bridge these two, so they've got a nice little uh, connection. Put that into an, its own input, so that's kind of going into these two blocks. And that's it for this layer for building. So then we want to place torches here, on uh, here, here, and here. That should be it. Yes, the four torches. With a piece of redstone there, 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 and for our input. Now the final layer, which is fairly simple, you probably guessed it already. Torches there and there, and redstone to fill in, not there, the gaps. And we are finished. This is our output, which we'll bring to the side and put a nice lamp on it, so we can uh, detect him nicely. And since carry outputs uh, come after the other, we'll move it over here. Normally, like I said, it would connect to the next um, adder, but we don't really care right now, do we? <laughs> no, we don't. Ah, uh, that'll do. Let's go downwards. It'll live. <laughs> Alright, so... Put in some inputs. One and two. Pull that lever. And pull that lever. And it increments. Nicely. And there we go. We've done it. Good job, guys. Um, we make it daytime again. It became night again on us. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you were able to follow that. It did get a little bit dark, and I didn't even realize. <laughs> I kind of lose track of the light and such when I start building stuff. But uh, yeah, hope you found it useful. Hope the texture pack made it easier to see. And hope my description was not made it nice and easy to understand. Um, tune in next time, guys, when I uh, bring in maybe dividers and 
other things. I may not do half to, half adders, just because I don't see the point. They're basically just watered down, uh, less functional versions of full adders. But if you guys really want them, let me know. Send me a message or leave a comment or something like that, and I might reconsider. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Steve-O, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah.